Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a very chill video. I just wanted to kind of hang out and play with some new makeup. It's a very rainy, gross day here and my favorite thing to do on days like that is put on my comfy clothes and sit down in front of the camera and just test out a whole bunch of new products that I've been dying to try. I've had them sitting in my bin for a couple of weeks. Stuff I've just been kind of collecting over time. So I am ready. I try and wait till I have like a decent amount of products for each video. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing me play with some new makeup and giving you my first impressions, then let's get started. Oh my God. I'm like so tired today. This weather is making me exhausted. It's like so rainy and icky outside, so I feel very icky. As you can tell, my hair is literally in a bun. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Like, we're just hanging out today. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. I am gonna be starting with my face today. Uh, the first thing I wanna try is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I know I'm really behind on this. I feel like I'm behind on a lot of things, like a lot of products, but I have a good reason. I bought this a while ago and then somehow it just went missing. Like I couldn't find it for months. Um, so I finally found it in an old shopping bag. <laughs> Oh, while I was cleaning up my beauty room and everything. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and test this out on camera for you guys today. People compare this to the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. They say it's like a dupe for it. So basically it says this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear. Velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. So I do love a pore filling primer and if you guys watch my channel, you know I'm a huge user of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. So if this is a cheaper version or similar that's really good, then I'm here for it. Um, so this is what it looks like, just a tin. It's kind of a, the color is called Universal Sheer, but like the Tatcha one, it's kind of like a pinkish cream color. I'm so excited. And that's what it looks like. And I will link everything down in the description box below and I will make sure that prices are listed either in my video or in the description box below so that way you guys can find these products and know what you're going to pay for them. So right off the bat, this feels a lot like harder than the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Like the product itself is kind of firm and then when you put your fingers in it, it's a little bit like thinner. Um, but I'm basically just going to concentrate this in, it doesn't smell like anything, uh, concentrate this in my T-zone, kind of where I have the majority of my pores. It looks the same, but I feel like my Tatcha one is so much more smoothing. I don't know, I feel like it's hard once you have like the real deal, trying to find dupes is always kind of, this one almost feels a little bit more moisturizing where the Tatcha one is I think like silky and very smoothing and really pore filling. Although this does feel like it's filled my pores. I mean, I like it. I just don't think it's the exact same as the Tatcha. But if you really can't afford the Tatcha one and you're looking for something similar, I mean, it's it's close. It's not the exact same. It's not an exact dupe in my opinion, but I mean, it's good. I don't, I don't hate it. So now that we are all primed up, I'm going to go in with foundation and I have the Juvia's Place I am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I'm nervous to try this <laughs> just because of what people have said about it. Um, I know there was a phase where there were like a lot of reviews and tutorials and stuff going up um, with a, this foundation, but I really want to test it out for myself and I've been a little bit nervous. Um, so it's our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish. Love that. Flawless coverage. A great formula to even out the complexion, refine skin texture, and erase blemishes. Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin and oily skin. So in here, you get one fluid ounce, and I have mine in the shade Ibiza. I hope this matches me. Again, I bought this a really long time ago, so we'll see if the color is good. So it comes in a squeezy tube like this. Um... I don't know how I feel about this. First of all, this does not look like one fluid ounce to me, like compared to a glass foundation bottle, but I guess that just goes to show how much 
packaging you're getting. So, I mean, this is super travel friendly. The only thing is I don't like that you can't see what color it is. So we're gonna be surprised together. So this is what the color is looking like. I feel like it might match. I feel like it might be okay. Doesn't smell like anything. I always smell my makeup. I'm really weird about that. So if that weirds you out, sorry. I feel like the only thing with this, I would go super overboard. Cause like with foundation, I know like I need one pump, but this like, I'm just gonna squeeze out a glob. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender for this just because that's what I typically use for foundations. I mean, this is pretty full coverage, like right off the bat. The shade might be a little bit yellow for me, but that's okay. We can fix it up with concealer and stuff. Yeah, I definitely put on way too much, oh my God. Upon first application, I am really, really liking this. I mean, that covers like pretty much everything. It is definitely soft matte. It's still a little bit tacky to the touch and it does feel like you're wearing makeup. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like the most like weightless formula in the entire world, but it's not bad. It's not like heavy, I wouldn't say, but it's not as light coverage as some other foundations I've tried before. I don't know why people were so upset about it. I think it's pretty good. Next up to test out, we have a concealer. This is the Benefit Boing. Cakeless Concealer, and I have mine in the shade number three. This is a full coverage cakeless liquid concealer. Hides it all from dark under eye circles to blemishes to discoloration, yet it feels lightweight and doesn't cake or crack. So this concealer is like all the rage right now. It's so cute, like look at this packaging. It's like a little pencil eraser, I love it. I think that's, oh my God, so cute. Um, so yeah, like I said, I have mine in the shade number three. I'm so excited to try this. So the doe foot is a little bit smaller and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it does have a little divot in the middle of the applicator, which actually holds more product. So you don't need to dip back in and out of the tube multiple times. So let's go ahead and this might be a little bit light. Oh, wow. Do you see that? The applicator is so flexible. I'm obsessed with this. This is so good. It is really, really lightweight, but the coverage, the coverage is there. I'm really impressed. This, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. I do have a setting powder to test out. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. And this intrigued me because it's one of the ones that, you know what, I'll just show you. First of all, it looks like a camera lens. Like how cute is that? And basically in here, it's a compact, like a pressed powder. And what you do is you twist to basically shave off the powder and you get fresh powder every single time. So if you're using a beauty blender, you're not dipping into like pre-moistened, moistened, pre-moistened pre powder. Like every time you're dipping into this, you're getting fresh powder. I love that. I think that's pretty good. So the only thing that's like a little bit weird is that this is shade one. Like this is the lightest shade. To set makeup, mattify shine and blur skin with a sweep of fine fresh powder. Creates a smooth even layer giving you a fresh beautiful finish with less mess. Sets makeup with a weightless matte finish. Customize the amount you need without wasting. And it says you are supposed to use this with a brush so. When you apply it to your face, it's actually not that dark at all. I think I was just like a little bit nervous, um, but I, I definitely wouldn't bake with this. It looks nice though. It's not setting everything like completely down. And I definitely twisted out too much of this powder. I was a little overzealous. Dang, aside from this little breakout situation going on here, my skin looks so good. I'm thoroughly impressed right now. Alrighty, so I went ahead and put on my brows and bronzer and blush just because I didn't have any of those products to test out for you guys today. So now we are ready to move on to our eye makeup. So I have this Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette. I have never tried Violet Voss shadows before, so I'm really, really excited to give this a try. I mean, upon first look, you're kind of like, this is so colorful, like what would I do with this? But if you really look at it, like you can do so much with this. You can do a neutral shadow look or you can do a colorful, bold look with this. So, I mean, I feel like even though it's kind of an awkward color choice and it looks very rainbow, you still have some really, really good options in here. 
So I'm optimistic that we can come up with something really pretty. To start us off, I'm gonna take this color called Sand right here, just on a really fluffy brush, and I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. I think I'm gonna use kind of like the pinky, peachy tones in here today. Next up, I'm gonna go in this shade called Dusty Rose right here. This looks so beautiful. And I'm just going to place this in the crease right below it. These are pretty pigmented. It was just that initial shade. I guess it was a little bit lighter than what I was expecting. All right, so I'm actually going to mix cream and pink. And I'm going to use this as my lid shade. Dang, okay. So taking a little bit of cinnamon, I'm just going to kind of deepen up the outer corner a little bit. There's definitely nothing wrong with this palette. I like this. So I do have like a little eyeshadow topper kind of thing. This is from Wet n Wild. This is a new mega jelly eyeshadow. And I have mine in the shade Champagne Diet. It's kind of like a peachy rose gold shade. So I don't know if this is even gonna go with the eye look, but I really wanna try it out. So that's what it looks like. It's literally like a jelly eyeshadow. Interesting. I'm just gonna dot a little bit of this on my eyelids. <laughs> it's a little bit patchy, I think. But I mean, it's really pretty. It's like nice and sparkly. Um, it just doesn't go on super even. I'm gonna try it with a brush now, actually. Oh yeah, I think the way to apply this is with like a fluffy brush. This stuff is good. Like, look how pretty that is. It's very metallic, but it's also, once you like kind of spread it out, it's really like pretty and glittery. I hate this packaging. I think it's an absolute mess, but the shadow itself is really, really pretty. So to set my face today, I'm going to use this Skin & Co Aqua Illuminate Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist, and this is Radiant Dew. I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't like dewy skin mists really, besides like my Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. And I do like the Rose Gold Farsali Skin Mist, but I use those as like a hydrating, like primer water kind of thing, not to set my makeup because I like more of a matte finish. But I'm hoping that this is gonna be like a fix plus where it just kind of like makes everything melt into your skin and doesn't make you greasy i guess um so it says shake well before each use to activate botanical extracts can be used to set makeup as well as throughout the day to refresh and hydrate skin i've never tried anything from this brand before i'm pretty sure that i got this in a boxy charm i've never even heard of this it says it's for all skin types so i guess we'll just try it and hope for the best all right here we go Ooh, that feels like super cooling and it does feel very hydrating. I only used like three spritzes because I was scared, but I think it's okay. I think we're safe. Um, so I'm going to have to play with this a little bit more. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't hate it, but I don't like, I'm not like obsessed with it. So I'll play with this a little bit more and keep you guys posted on my thoughts. For highlight today, I'm using this e.l.f. baked highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I don't have super high hopes for this. I don't know why, but this to me just looks like it's gonna be kind of eh. Let's swatch it. Ooh, it feels so chalky. Mm, I don't know. Oh, that looks ashy and chalky. I'm nervous. This looks dry. Nope. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. You guys, save your money on this. I don't... Even though it's cheap, it's not good. There's so many other drugstore highlighters that are so much better. And if you need a good highlight, I would invest in one like Fenty Beauty or something like that. Save your money and get one good one. This is, I don't like that. Alrighty, so to bring this video home, we are going to finish off this look with our lips. So I purchased this new NYX Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick from Ulta. So it said new on the display. I have recently, if you've watched my videos, I recently tried the lingerie glosses and I was obsessed with those. So I figured 
that the lipstick has to be equally as good, right? Mine is in the shade Corset, and the cool thing is, is it comes with a little sharpener on the back end, so you can always have a nice sharp point. Okay, it has a very, very chemically smell to it and a very chemically taste. It almost feels like minty on the lips and I'm like inhaling, like you know a Burt's Bees chapstick, you like kind of like inhale and it feels like cold. Should I take this off? Is this expired? It's like burning, tingling. Ugh. I don't like it. The push-up you really want in matte nudes for your everyday mood. Introducing blah, 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 blah. This push-up pencil lippy delivers plumping, plumping action and precise application for a matte nude pout that lasts all day. So it's a lip plumper in a lipstick. If you can get past the fact that it smells and tastes like medication, it's really pretty. It's super matte and it dries down like a liquid lipstick. Let me see if it's transfer proof. Nothing. Alrighty, so that is going to conclude today's first impressions video. I hope you guys enjoyed playing with all of this makeup with me. I think I found some serious hits. Like this foundation, I'm a pretty big fan of and the concealer was absolutely amazing. I'm so obsessed with this. I think that this definitely lives up to all the hype of all the influencers talking it up, everybody getting it in PR and doing reviews super worth it i love it personally and upon first application i think this foundation is super super nice the primer was really good although i don't necessarily think that it's a tatcha silk canvas dupe still think it's really great the smashbox powder looks really nice i really have no complaints today aside from this highlighter i think was a total waste of money it's really dry and chalky i mean it looks decent on the skin it gives kind of a natural glow but i don't it's just not for me i don't know i'm not super into it and then this spray the skin and co i really need to play with this a little bit more but i think it was fine i don't think you need to run out and purchase it but overall i think everything came out pretty pretty good i like my makeup today i think it looks nice my skin is definitely the star of the show so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already take it one step further and make sure that bell is rung next to the subscribe button so that way you are notified every single time i upload a video i have lots of exciting fall tutorials and more makeup reviews coming for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.